In this video, I'm going to use SPSS to perform a repeated measures ANOVA, also known as a within subjects ANOVA. So here on the left we have our prompt. Let's perform a repeated measures ANOVA. Researchers want to test a new anti-anxiety medication. They measure the anxiety of seven participants three times. Once before taking the medication, once one week after taking the medication, and once two weeks after taking the medication. Anxiety is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high and 1 being low. Are there any differences between the three conditions using alpha 0.05? And down here we have our data. So, let's use SPSS to perform this ANOVA. Right now we are in data view, and we have no data entered. First, we need to go into variable view, down here, to tell SPSS what variables we have. Well, here our variable is basically time. We've got before, week one, and week two. And our dependent variable is anxiety. So here is how we're going to set this up. We're actually going to put in before. We'll put in week one. Oops. Can't put that in there, obviously. We'll put in week one. <laughs> and we're going to put in week two. So there we go. We can leave all this information the same for now. Now we're going to go back here. Now the reason we set it up this way is because, remember, we're measuring the same seven subjects three times. In SPSS, every row refers to a different subject, so we're going to fill out seven rows. So here, for the before condition, we're going to put 9878898. For the week one condition, we've got 7667876. And for week two, we've got 4323432. So there we go. It actually looks just like the table we have over here. Now that we have this in here, we're going to go to Analyze. And then let's go down to General Linear Model. And finally, click on Repeated Measures. Here, we have a factor with three levels. We're going to call this factor time, and then we're going to add it. And now let's hit define. We're going to take these three values before week one and week two and hit this error over here. So now SPSS knows that this within subjects variable is made up of time, week one, and week two. We're not going to worry about these options and stuff for now. We're just going to perform the repeated measures ANOVA. So let's go down here and hit OK. Here we have our repeated measures ANOVA. We entered in the variables before, week one, and week two. Multivariate tests is not something we're going to worry about right now. And we're not going to worry about Mockley's test of sphericity either. Here we want to go down to tests of within subjects effects. Our variable that we're looking at is time, and we're going to look at sphericity assumed. All this other stuff is, you know, for more advanced topics. Here we look at time, sphericity assumed, we have our F value and our significance level. Here our F value is 222.00 and our significance is 0 .000, 000 something, something very very close to zero but not exactly zero. Now because our significance level, our P value, is less than 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis and say that there's a difference between these three groups. In this example what we're saying is that we think you know, because we rejected the null and said that they're different, we think that the medication, the time after taking the medication, is having an effect on high anxiety. And now we've done a repeated measures ANOVA using SPSS.